Good morning, and welcome to the BOMA Boise Commercial Real Estate Symposium. We at DK Commercial welcome you to this 14th annual event. DK Commercial is the proud sponsor of the 2011 Construction and Development video. The theme of this year's symposium is building business together. In the next few minutes, you will see just how busy BOMA member companies have been over the last year in this changing economy and what the outlook is for construction and development for 2011 and beyond. Enjoy the event. It's time to see how 2010 measures up compared to other years in the commercial construction and development industry. We have had an amazing 2010 and there has been lots of activity. It's been very productive. It's been interesting. Um, the deals look different than they used to, but there definitely is activity, was activity in 2010. Even in this economy, in this market, there are companies that are doing well, that are prospering. and whether they're newer companies that are growing and expanding or established companies that, that are, um, again, having the, the, the reason to expand and grow. We are recovering. It's, it's happening. It's going to be a long, slow, bumpy road, as we talked about last year, but it is happening. Part of that bumpy road is coming to grips with a new condition of the market. Honestly, the attitude, I think, is just for more of the same, to be, to be completely honest. I, I'm not very optimistic, but in general, I don't see a big increase or any signs of, of anything close to euphoria setting in. Uh, but those of us that have been through this understand that it is a cycle, it, it will turn. Today's market is, is different than what we've come out of and it's not going to get back to that. And I think some people hang on to, oh, you know, we're going to be out of this when it gets back to the way it was. Well, that's, that's not going to happen. I mean, it's going to be a new, a new normal. And many people are adjusting their way of thinking, looking at the market and what options are out there. There's been a lot of inventory that has come off of the market. And so when you go to do a search for someone, um, the perception is the market's really bad. They see all these signs and they just think oh, there's all these options and there's not. We're seeing it this time. We're feeling it in our own business uh, where I think even in the last six months, we've seen a little bit of a, a let up on the pressure from too many contractors going after the same projects to where the pool is kind of cleaned out a little bit. It's kind of new for Boise in a way because we've always had all the old big companies here as anchors, that's all changed. And with a leaner industry in our marketplace and a little downtime to make some evaluations, there may need to be a change in focus for the future. I think right now what we're, what we're dealing with is, is a bigger picture. That's the reality of it. And by that I mean everything has to be front of mind when it comes to economic development. That means that everybody has to be involved. That's the way I like to talk about it. We need the, the state level to be involved with attracting businesses. We need the counties to be involved. We need the cities to be involved. We need the agencies to be involved. Everybody has to be thinking about this. Real estate comes with jobs, plain and simple. And real estate is development. The city of Caldwell is celebrating after the opening of Treasure Valley Community College, which added dozens of jobs and brings nearly a thousand students to the downtown area for classes. The city of Caldwell also recently developed a 20-year master plan to revitalize the city core, including a new city hall, cultural center, trolley, and other projects. Outside downtown, the Caldwell Airport also opened in 2010. What's being labeled the most state-of-the-art building in Nampa is the 64,000 square foot Hugh Nichols Public Safety Building on 2nd Street South. It takes up an entire city block. The nearly $15 million project will house the city's police and fire departments and includes a 216-space parking structure. In Nampa, near the Garrity Interchange, some good news for the empty Sam's Club building. Reports indicate that the new owner, Pacific Sports Complex, plans to transform the building into an indoor sports facility. On the opposite side of the freeway at Nampa Gateway, Idaho Athletic Club, Edwards Theater, Sports Authority, and a retail strip are all open, joining anchor stores J.C. Penney and Macy's. The 11th Avenue Bridge was completed in 2010 as part of an overall I-84 corridor expansion, allowing a third lane to be built in each direction of the interstate mainline. 
That expansion on the interstate opened three lanes in each direction on the six-mile stretch between Garrity and Meridian interchanges. The project also includes enough space to add a fourth lane on each side of I-84 once the 10-mile interchange project is complete. 10 Mile is, is, in my opinion, going to create the new center of the valley. It's really kind of the bridge point between West Meridian and, and East Nampa. It is forward thinking in that the, the intersection is designed to accommodate the future. And that coupled with what's happening with the freeways is, is going to pay dividends for Boise for year, decades to come and I, I just I applaud everybody involved. Along the 10 mile interchange corridor at 10 mile and McMillan, Walmart recently closed on ground there. And in Eagle Island Marketplace at Linder and Chinden, a Fred Meyer anchored shopping center is underway set to be complete summer of 2012. And so when that opens it's obviously going to have ripple effects not only commercially but it's going to provide good access for the neighborhoods and the residences that are within close proximity to it. To the north in CUNA, the nearly $6 million CUNA Elementary School is taking shape. Construction will be done this summer. In Meridian, several projects of note. Broadview University in Gramercy was completed in January. The $6 million project is open for classes. Retail continues to fill in at the Portico and Meridian on the corner of Franklin and Eagle Roads. In Pine Bridge Medical and Technology Park, construction is underway on PKG, a new $5 million corporate manufacturing building that is set to be complete this fall. On North Eagle Road and Commercial Street in Meridian is the nearly 50-acre campus by Sensi. This first phase of construction includes a $4 million manufacturing and distribution facility, set to be complete the end of the summer. Developers tell us projects will soon be announced for Center Point Marketplace on Eustick and Eagle Roads, including retail buildings going up this spring and summer. Jumping to Southeast Boise, the Barber Station Project, just over the river near the East Park Center Bridge. The 54-acre Professional Business Center includes some retail service space and is surrounded by the Mary Ann Williams Park. At Micron Campus, no timeline yet on dates for a planned 50,000 square foot resource facility, including space for research and development of a wafer microchip as well as space for future expansion. Near downtown Boise, the Crescent Rim project saw new life in 2010 after the project stalled for nearly two years. Construction on the $70 million project started up again last fall and it's been reported that some units should be complete and sold by late spring or early summer. After two years of plan changes and adjustments as well as trimming its budget from $100 million to $70 million, Jack's Urban Meeting Place, the Jump Project, is scheduled to start construction this summer. That project will be built between 9th and 11th Streets and between Myrtle and front. Construction is also underway on the corner of 5th and Front Streets for Concordia Law University. An existing two-story building will become the law library and a new three-story addition will house classrooms and offices. Completion is expected in June. Boise City also approved plans for a new grocery store in West Downtown Boise between 15th and 16th Streets. Construction is set to start next month. In Downtown Boise, the exterior of the 805 Idaho Building renovation project is done. Interior remodeling is underway for a new restaurant. The four the story building has several leases already signed and hopes to attract tenants to the historically preserved office and retail building. It has taken nearly four years, but it's now being reported that Boise City has agreed to approve a special exception to allow an incoming project on Broadway Avenue, Front, and Myrtle Streets. The proposed organic grocer, Whole Foods, is slated to begin the first phase of the project, a 35,000 square foot store and standalone retail site. A Walgreens is also planned for the site, which will include a large pedestrian plaza adjacent to Julie. Davis Park. And here on campus at Boise State University, several projects to talk about. The new 97,000 square foot center for science and economic development is nearly done. Construction on the five-story, nearly $30 million building across from Bronco Stadium will wrap up this summer. The nearly $16 million Lincoln Student Housing Project is a six-building development that will take two years to finish. The four-story buildings located on Lincoln Avenue between Beacon and University Streets will house about 350 students. This summer, the second phase of the Lincoln Avenue parking garage will be complete. The $8 million project is on the corner of Lincoln Avenue and University Drive and has more than 650 parking spaces and 7,000 square feet of office and retail space. Construction is underway on the corner of Capitol and University Drive on the $37 million Micron College of Business. The four-story building includes high-tech classrooms, a giant lecture hall, and a courtyard. The project is expected to be complete fall of 2012. 
Completed last summer was an $8 million addition to the rec center on campus, a 17,000 square foot aquatic center. And the $2 million transit center near the student union building will be done this spring. And finally, both men and women athletes at Boise State University will see a two-story addition to the Taco Bell Arena with new locker rooms. The $3 million project will be done this summer. With so much to talk about, it's hard to believe the commercial development and construction industry is coming out of what some call one of the darkest periods in history. But as we look forward to the coming year and beyond, we may see light on the horizon and hope for the economy. In 2011, I really believe that this is the year that is a turning point in the market. And I think that the people that um, are willing to you know, look at it in a positive way and, and define the market rather than letting the market define them, you know, those are the deals that are getting done. Well, I think for 2011, it's, it's going to be more that healing process. We're kind of bouncing at the bottom, I would say, and there's hope and there's talk and you feel a little upticks, but then you, you'll, you'll get some news that makes you think, wow, we're still just bouncing at the bottom and, and we may be here a while. Personally, I think that the commercial uh, cycle will be shorter than the residential cycle has been. Residential really started to tip in early 2006. So we are right at five years now. That's a long time. I think commercial is going to be shorter than that. So I'm thinking right now probably another 12, 18, maybe 24 months before we start seeing some new you know, spec development, which in my mind is really the gauge. It will turn, change will, it will turn, change will come. It's just gonna be slow, it's gonna be baby steps. I think 2011 is gonna be a great year. We're looking forward to it.